We have right here the Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition 2. Let's give it a review. The Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is a follow-up to the previous generation Mazda BT50 Pangolin which commemorated the preservation of the Philippine Pangolin. Based on the BT50 3.04x4, it gets some additions for a more off-roady, rugged look. And for those who forgot, the BT50 is based on the Isuzu D-Max. But first, price. 2023 Mazda BT50 Pangolin Edition 2 is priced at 1,858,000 Philippine Pesos. Now let's talk exterior where all the changes compared to the standard BT50 are. Unique to the Pangolin are bespoke 18-inch rota wheels with the Pangolin center cap. Also standard here are fender flares for a more rugged appearance, a bed cover, tailgate lift assist, and a sports bar. We do think that this could use more accessories or maybe a Pangolin badge or sticker, but as it is, it's already good. Anyway, this of course features Mazda's signature Kodo design language in front, removing any hints of its Isuzu-ness. It looks perfect, matched with the LED headlights and daytime running lights and LED fog lights. By the way, those fog lights are on the bumper together with the turn signals and halogen DRLs. Ground clearance for this is set at 235mm. And now towards the back, the BT50 was designed to load around 1000kg. So now we're inside the Isuzu D-Max. I mean, Mazda BT50 Pangolin. And unlike the exterior, we have more similarities here inside compared to the D-Max. But it's still a different design. So in terms of materials, we have some nice soft touch leather on the dashboard. Lots of it. It's really soft, unlike the one in the D-Max. And then here we have hard touch plastics, unlike in the D-Max as well, because there we have more leather. But still, this is okay. And then the leather here again is really soft. Then the design here again is very different. Starting from this line all the way up, it's actually all different. So we have some curvier lines here. The D-Max has more of a sharper design. This one is more curvy and it looks more sleek. It looks more premium compared to the D-Max. Then here also we have more hard touch plastic for the cover of the storage area, which we have here, which many pickup truck owners really like. And here also in the BT-50, we have a brown and black interior. So it's two-tone, just like in the D-Max as well. But enough about the D-Max, let's really talk about this as the BT-50. And since it is the BT-50 Pangolin, I did notice that there isn't much here that distinguishes this from other BT-50 variants, specifically the 4x4 variant. But anyway, still, it's still really nice. Then going to the steering wheel here, we have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel with, of course, the Mazda logo in the middle and a round horn pad. And then it's also tilt and telescopic, which is, of course, really good always. And then... We also have our controls for our audio and then our cruise controls on the right. Below that, some controls for our trip computer which you can find here in the analog instrument cluster. So for the instrument cluster, we still have the, the same analog gauges with a small screen in the middle. So the screen is honestly too small but it does show us lots of information which will be very helpful such as our trip computer, trip A, trip B, our fuel economy coaching, and then our ADAS, which we'll talk about in the test drive portion, and then our four-wheel drive and settings for the vehicle. Then also, I forgot to mention the horn of this car. It's your typical Isuzu horn that also comes here into the Mazda. And then moving on to infotainment, we have here a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system. So it looks really nice. It looks it really, it's really well integrated into our dashboard. And again, it works really well. So we have very easy to read everything here. We have our controls here very easy to use it's very responsive it's very easy to read again and everything is where you expect them to be then of course we also have apple carplay so let's just connect our phone properly so this is actually wireless but i chose to do a wireless co a wired connection because sometimes wireless carplay is of course very buggy then there we go so we have apple carplay over there it's always really nice to see then of course our reverse camera also shows up here so let's put it in reverse there we go so it's not the best but at least we have a big display and as you can hear we also have parking sensors and then we also have we also don't have dynamic guidance lines unfortunately they don't move but at least the camera is really easy to use quality could be improved but this works already then also we have some nice buttons over here so these are very helpful it's, it's not as good as knobs but these are okay and at least they are very easy to use as well then down here we have the same aircon controls as the d-max so if you if you've looked at the d-max you these will be very familiar so we have dual zone automatic climate control 
very easy to use again so that's our automatic that fan speed and there we go so it's very easy to use it will take getting used to when you're new but once you get some time with the vehicle it will be very easy to use then though down here we have our four-wheel drive selectors so we have 2h 4h 4l are typical then our usb port auxiliary port and our 12 volt power outlet as well then of course we, do, we have some storage down here which we can put our wallet our phone maybe yeah and then here from the center console we have our gear shifter which is really nice so it has the pr and the plus minus on top so there it's really nice then sensors are activating in front because we're in a grassy area right now but anyway again really nice then right next to it we have our hill descent control button our diff lock so the bt54 by 4 comes with the diff lock unlike the d max then we also have heated seats interestingly we have that here so maybe if we travel to baguio or to tagaytay during the colder month like december january february this will be very useful then on the other side we have our parking sensors off button and another button for heated seats this time for the passenger then over here we have our traditional parking brake so nothing special but i do have to say that it is quite loud so it does get kind of annoying so as you can hear right now they're very loud so it's not really nice but if you're one of those people who like to press the button and pulling up their parking brake then this will be okay with you so they're nice and quiet for that case then we have here two cup holders and then our center armrest with lots of storage underneath so that's really nice and then for the seats this will be very familiar to you if you know your isuzus but they still match the mazda brand very well so as you can see here they are wrapped in brown leather which is of course really nice they have lots of support especially for the shoulders this is what i really like and these seats are definitely one of the best in the segment if not the best then also the driver's seat is power adjustable while the passenger seat is manual so now we're in the back of the bt50 pangolin and just like in front nothing much here distinguishes this from the regular bt50 but anyway it's still a very nice place to be for a pickup truck so let's talk about the seats first these are very nice still the same as what you'd get in the regular bt50 and the d-max and of course the back the seat back is nice and supportive so we also have those shoulder supports like in the front seat then of course the really nice brown leather with perforation so it's really nice then a nice center armrest with two cup holders over here so very comfortable as well then for the materials here we still have the same ones in as in front so we have hard touch plastics leather and more leather for the armors and of course some piano black plastic which i forgot to mention earlier then leg room as you can see pretty good i'm around five feet and seven inches so i'm very comfortable here actually so lots of leg room knee room and of course headroom is also pretty good then i also forgot to mention that we do have an eight speaker audio system over here so we have two of the speakers here on the ceiling so that's very nice as well and the audio system is actually pretty good the other things we can find here in the back of the bt50 we do have a hook here behind the front seat so this can hold a maximum of four kilograms according to this label over here so maybe we can hang here some groceries something like that and then we have two back pockets behind the front seat so as you can see there we have some papers and then we have a nice storage area here usb port just a single usb port actually and then our air vent. so that's pretty much it for the back of the bt50 and the rest of the interior so i think we can now go on a test drive so now we're driving the mazda bt54 by 4 pangolin and of course this doesn't feel much different from the other bt50 variant which we already reviewed the 4x2 one so if you haven't watched that one be sure to watch our review on that right now anyway so this is still powered by the same engine this is powered by a 3 liter turbo diesel engine that produces 190 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque paired to a six-speed automatic transmission and of course it sounds if it sounds familiar that's because it's the same one that powers the isuzu d-max and of course again the mazda bt50 4x2 variant and once you do get on the road it actually feels pretty much the same as well except there is a few there are a few differences from this pangolin that i will mention throughout this test drive so anyway when it comes to power just like what i said before like what we said before there isn't much to complain about because it feels really good 
then of course it never feels like you're gonna run out of power all the torque that you need you can feel it right over there coming in every time you put your foot on the pedal so that's something that is that has been done really well in this vehicle and of course when you need to do some overtaking maneuvers it doesn't feel like it will fail you so everything that you need everything that you want is over there especially when it comes to hauling stuff probably also this vehicle is very responsive so once you put your pedal on, down you can really feel everything that you want come in what i do have to say though is that it does have a slight feeling of being slow thanks to the six-speed automatic transmission it does take a while to shift so it's not the fastest and then we have of course long gear ratios which does add to the feeling of this being slow but it's not slow at all and then when it comes to steering and handling that is where this pangolin version does differ a bit so thanks to the rota wheels that we have since those are lighter we also have lighter steering so unlike the regular isuzu d-max and regular mazda bt50 this has a little bit lighter steering so that's actually really much appreciated although i do really like how weighted this is because it does contribute to a feeling of being more solid it does help us feel a bit more confident while driving this car then of course it also provides lots of feedback thanks to it being a hydraulic power assisted steering system and then of course handling is what you'd expect from a pickup truck it's nothing special but it's pretty good for what it is although i must say that i do wish that mazda did tune this a little bit so that can feel a bit more mazda since those vehicles of course they, their vehicles handle really well and they are some of the most fun to drive vehicles even if they're not the fastest if i'm being honest and of course when it comes to taking corners you will feel body roll with this vehicle thanks to the again it being a pickup truck so it's not really something to complain about it's what you expect from a vehicle like this ride quality and nvh on the other hand they're pretty decent for again what this vehicle is so it's actually pretty similar to the d-max so ride of course is quite stiff if i'm being honest so it's not the smoothest not the best ride like let's say the ford ranger or the or even the nissan navara so this is a bit more stiff than those two but again that's what you'd expect from a pickup truck so i'm not really complaining although again mazda could have tuned this a bit more to make it feel more like a mazda so maybe if they did maybe we'll have a bit of a smoother ride but still this is acceptable the road noise insulation is pretty okay it's not the best but it will do so it's not really that loud it's not also too quiet then wind noise also does come in at times but nothing too bad as for the engine noise it is there but what i do like about it is that the engine sounds really good so we have a very throaty sound from that three liter turbo diesel then of course from a pickup truck we do have very good visibility so you really sit up high it's really nice to see the road you can pretty much see everything around this and of course we have some blind spot monitors on both side mirrors that really helps in terms of visibility overall i think the mazda bt50 drives really well of course the suzu d-max does and of course that one also went here i'm not i'm not sure if they develop co-develop the vehicle together but nevertheless they really did a good job with how this drives although there are some things that could improve but still yeah it's pretty good now when it comes to fuel economy this is also slightly improved thanks to those rota wheels so in the city i was able to achieve around 10 to 11 kilometers per liter in the isuzu d-max and the bt54 by 2 is actually able to do around 8 and 9 so here we do 10 and 11 and on the highway i was able to achieve around 17 kilometers per liter in the previously mentioned vehicles i was able to get around 15 so really improved now for driver assistance tech of course this is also fully loaded with some advanced driver assistance features so of course we do have adaptive cruise control we have forward collision warning and we have automatic emergency braking and again the blind spot monitoring which i mentioned earlier so i actually really appreciate the forward collision warning being a light on the dashboard because it really helps in alerting me when i do get too close to the vehicle in front so anyway to end this review i must say that the mazda bt50 to be honest is a better choice compared to the isuzu d-max so to my friends from isuzu don't get offended this is my personal opinion only and of course the isuzu d-max is a great vehicle but it is good to note that this bt50 is about the same price specifically this pangolin edition and also we do get a little bit more so there's those heated seats for cold weather and then we also have the diff lock button over here so that's something that most pickup truck owners 4x4 pickup truck owners really want and then of course mazda has their five-year free service so 
that's something that can really help with savings for when it comes to ownership of this vehicle. But still, whether you get the Isuzu D-Max or Mazda B2, they're really good cars, they're really good trucks, and whichever you get, you won't regret it. You already have the tech, you already have the looks, then of course, you have a really good driving experience. Thank you.